Okay, let me tell you what's going on here. This is the second time Fang has disappeared today. Now, I did not touch Fang. I've been working. I didn't touch him at all. Last time I saw him, I hugged him when he was over here eating some food. Okay? He's disappeared twice. So I come here, I say, Fangs, Fangs. I look here on the blanket. No Fangs. I look here all over. I look here. No Fangs. Look there. No Fangs. Here. No Fangs. I even go under the bed, of course. No Fangs. Go here in the closet. No Fangs. No Fangs. Go over here into the bathroom. No Fangs. No Mr. Fangs. Go out here and say maybe he's going to the bathroom. No fangs, no fangs. No fangs in that box. Go over here, say, okay, maybe he's back in his old chair. No fangs. This happened twice today like this. Say, hi, butler, how you doing? She hasn't seen fang either. I say, no fangs here, no fangs here. Then I come over here. I say, no fangs here or behind this door. And then I say, well, maybe he's in the closet. The first time the closet was open, that took me a while to, you know, disallow the fact he was in the closet. He is not. Now it's closed anyway. So I start saying, Mr. Fangs, Mr. Fangs, of course, and calling out for him. Then I look under this sofa, look all around here in case he came to visit me. No Mr. Fangs. So, this is the second time he's disappeared. First time he disappeared, I come back in here, and Mr. Fangs is sitting right here on the blanket. And I'm like, great, Mr. Fangs is right here on the blanket. I must have just missed him. Now I know I'm not crazy because I saw, before I started this video, a tiny bit of movement right here. And if I'm correct, then good Mr. Fangs has made himself comfortable by himself underneath this sheet. Isn't that amazing? He dug himself under the sheet with no intervention from me at all. Hi, Mr. Fangs. Say hi to Mommy and everyone else. You're a movie star, Mr. Fangs. He's such a good boy. Good, Mr. Fangs. Show me your fangs. Good boy.